Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is I Hate Goodbyes. And this book is by Kathleen Cesar, illustrated by Mark A. Hicks. I hate goodbyes. Even more than going to bed when it's still light outside. I hate goodbyes so much I decided to make all goodbyes disappear. One day my dad said, goodbye Katie. I'm off to catch my train to work in the city. Why don't you think of a story that I can read to you when I come back tomorrow night, okay? Do you know what I did? I did not think of a story for my daddy to read to me. I sang a spoonful of sugar, which I had just learned in my loudest voice. Singing in my loud voice should make goodbyes disappear, right? I hate goodbye words. More than biting into cookies that look like chocolate chip cookies, but are really full of raisins. Even more than being told a hundred times, don't scratch, those, chick those are chicken pox, Katie. When I just couldn't stand that horrible itching, especially behind my ears and between my toes. I hate goodbye words so much, I decided to make all goodbye people disappear. One day, my granny and grandpa said, goodbye, Katie. We're off to the airport to catch our plane that will take us home. We'll miss you, dear, but we're so glad we'll be seeing you at Thanksgiving. Now give us a hug and kiss, won't you? Do you know what I did? I did not give hugs and kisses to Granny and Grandpa. I grabbed Piggy, my naughtiest teddy bear, and scolded him good and loud for, some, for saying he wanted spaghetti bolognese for dinner again. Scolding stubborn teddies should make people with goodbye words disappear, right? I really hate goodbye feelings more than tripping on the gym mat when I tried doing a perfect cartwheel for my first Parents' Day performance. More than finding out that Peter, who used to be my best friend last summer, now likes to play with toy trucks much better than he likes playing with me. Even more than hearing, no more talking, Katie. It's very late, please go to sleep now, when I really want my mummy to stay and talk with me some more. I hate goodbye feelings so much, I decided to make all feelings disappear. One day my mommy said, goodbye Katie, my taxi will be here soon to take me to my conference. But don't worry honey, I'll be back before you know it. What kind of present should I bring you back? Do you know what I did? I did not think of a present I wanted mommy to bring back to me. I checked to see how many loose teeth I had so far and wiggled the loosest ones extra hard. Wiggling loose tooth extra hard so they almost fall out should make my goodbye words and goodbye people and goodbye feelings disappear, right? I really, really hate goodbyes. I tried to make my daddy's word dis words disappear, but somehow they sneaked inside my ears and made me hear anyway.
I tried to make my granny and grandpa disappear, but I still saw them wave goodbye to me. I tried to make all my feelings disappear, but I felt my heart get hurt when I, it fell flop down into my stomach after I heard my mommy's taxi door slam shut. One day, all the goodbye words and the goodbye people and the goodbye feelings hiding deep inside my body moved right up and waited behind my eyes. This time, when my mommy said goodbye, I cried and cried, enough to fill Granny's deep swimming pool, I think. Daddy hugged me and asked me if I felt better. I said, maybe a teensy bit, but I still hate goodbyes. Do you know what my daddy said? He told me that I'm not the only one who hates goodbyes. My granny, grandpa, mommy, and daddy all hate goodbyes. More than anything else in the whole world, just like me, we all wish we could make goodbyes disappear forever. But now, not even grown-ups who love me know how. They only know how to come back as soon as they can and say our silly goodbye words. Whenever they have to tell me goodbye, my mommy and daddy and Grammy and grandpa say, see you later, alligator. Do you know what I do? I answer, in a little while with your crocodile. Sometimes I still cry when they tell me those goodbyes, but real tears should help pretend alligators and make-believe crocodiles feel a teensy bit better. Right? The end of I Hate Goodbyes. Boys and girls, I chose this book because I know sometimes you guys hate goodbyes, and so do I, as big as I am. But try to remember that we're always gonna come back to you in some way, shape, or form. And we're always thinking about you even when we're not together. So the next time you get that weird little feeling in here when someone you love or care about says goodbye, just remember they're always gonna come back to you in some way, shape, or form. Boys and girls, kinda like me. When I leave this story and I'm gone for the night, tomorrow when you get up, you can always put me back on and see what story I read while you were sleeping, while I missed you. Boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored. Better off reading every day. And it was my pleasure to read this story to you. So here we go. You gonna practice with me? Goodbye. See you soon. See you tomorrow.